This hatch drop shadow is a great way to get your text to stand out. So starting off, right click in your media pool, go to new fusion composition, create, and you could double click on that to jump into your fusion comp. Now I have one already started, so let's take a look at that. And you can see it's fairly simple. So not too many nodes here, which is great. And let's see how we can recreate this from scratch. Obviously the first thing for text effects is text. So let's create some text here, type in hatch or whatever you want. Press one to preview that. Let's make the size bigger. Pick a font that you really love. Alpha Slab 1 is fun. And you can search for that on 1001freefonts.com or wherever you find fine free fonts. Now what I wanna do is create my hatch line effect. So I wanna create a background. And in this background, I want to preview it. I'm gonna press two to preview over here. I want to create a color. So let's give ourselves a, a bluish color for our hatch look. And I wanna put a mask on this. So I'm gonna click my rectangular mask with my background selected. All right, so now we've got a rectangle. We want it to go all the way to the edges. So if I click on one of these edges and start dragging it, I'll get an indication of what I need to change, which is this width here. So let's type in one and we've got 100% width. And if you don't see your transparent background, click on these three dots and turn on checker underlay. With this background selected, let's hold down shift and spacebar and type in XF. That'll get your transform. And let's press two to preview that transform. And now let's transform this transform. So grab the size down and make sure to go to edges and turn on wrap. Now what you could do is give this an angle. 45 degrees is not a bad place to start or negative 45 degrees. And let's keep bringing the size down. Once you get really small, you might need to hold down control as you drag. We could also come back into our rectangle. I'm gonna press one to preview that over here. We can adjust the height and you can see as you do that, you'll change the gap in between the lines. So between the height and the size here, you have complete control of how many lines and how thick they are. And if you don't wanna mess with sliders over here, you could just click on your rectangle and click on the top or bottom edge and change that interactively. Now let's create a background color. So click and drag a background, connect the output to the output here of the transform and we've got a merge. Let's actually put this in the middle. So the background, we need to give it a color, but first let's select the merge, press two to preview that. Click on our background, drop this arrow down, pick a color that works. And the background is on top, which backgrounds should be in the back. So let's click on the merge and press control T to flip those. All right, we've got our two colors. Now we could take the text, drag its input into this blue triangle, the mask of the merge. Very nice. Now we want to bring the text back in. First, let's create a transform. I'm going to hold down shift space X F transform. We've got a transform. I don't want it there. I'll hold down shift and drag this. What I'm going to do is click the output of the text drop it onto the transform. And I wanna take the transform and I wanna merge it to our merge. So I'm gonna click the output of here, click on the merge. This creates a new merge. I'm gonna put over here and alt click on this line to make things look neat. Let's preview this new merge by pressing two. So we've got our original text right back on top and we just need to move it with this transform. So I could move this over and this over. Now, if you wanna move both at the same time, you could just click on this text and everything will move to where it needs to go. And don't forget to connect your merge to your media out so you can see things on the edit page.